What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In the last video of the D100, I was trying to figure out why my transmission temp was reading like really high, like 270 stupid hot. So I ended up putting in a temp sensor right at the output of the transmission where the line goes to the thermostat and then over to the cooler. Also in my last video, I wired my autometer electronic speedometer. So let's get the truck out on the road calibrate the speedometer and check out the transmission temp. All right, so when it comes to calibrating one of these autometer electronic speedometers, the calibration process is pretty simple. Um, you gotta go and find a, or lay out just a good, accurate two mile path or two mile course. Um, the more accurate that your two mile course is, the more accurate your speedometer will be once the calibration is done. But, so once you have that figured out, what you want to do is you want to press and hold the, the, the trip counter or the odometer or the, the reset button or, you know, the, the, the trip counter reset, whatever, the calibration button right here. Press and hold that in and then start the truck. And then once that goes, once the truck is running and it goes full sweep, then you can let go of the button. So you that button in. The speedometer went to full sweep, so now I can go and drive to the beginning of my two-mile course that I kind of already already went and scouted out. All right, once you're at the beginning of your two-mile course that you've already scouted, you go ahead and you press this button on the speedometer one time, and your speedometer should go to mid-range. Now you can drive your two miles. It doesn't matter how fast you go. It doesn't matter if you have to stop, make turns. It doesn't matter. All that matters is the accuracy of your two mile course. Now, you should see your, your trip counter quickly counting as you're driving the two miles. All that's doing is counting the pulses. So, let's go the two miles and make sure this thing starts counting. And it's gone. This is the end of my two mile course. Press that again, goes to zero. And it didn't work. God damn it. All right, so here's what I think happened. I think the vehicle speed sensor, which this is the one out of the truck. I actually was tearing into it to see if I could investigate it, but I think the speed sensor went bad. Um, so, I just installed the new one. Now I tested this one and in order to test it, supposedly you hook a multimeter up to the, to the, uh, to the pins there or to the wire or to the connector. If you have a, a pigtail dongle, whatever, hanging off there, hook your positive up to the high side, your negative to the low side, set your multimeter for AC voltage, and then you spin the input shaft. This is what goes into your transmission and connects to the gear that spins when the transmission's turning. That spinning shaft should then generate, it generates its own AC voltage. Now, for the autometer gauges, they run off like 2.2 volts at least. Um, I don't know how, just how high these are supposed to read, but this one read nothing, just zero, didn't budge. So I ordered a new one. Got one from standard, standard brands, just, you know, off the shelf, generic replacement, slapped it in there. And uh, I tried testing it first, but that one didn't read anything either. It did have a little bit of fluctuation, but it didn't really register high enough on the multimeter to really register a definitive voltage. But there was some fluctuation, not much. So who even knows that this is gonna work. So let's go take this thing out for another drive and see what happens. All right, so I'm already back in my planned route. All you gotta do is hit this button. Speedometer goes to mid scale. And let's see if it starts counting. There it goes. Uh, yeah. So that was definitely, uh, the speed sensor was definitely my problem. All right, so my camera actually fell off the, the top of the, the cab there while I was 
recording, but as you can see, the numbers did in fact count up. So now I press this button, the number goes back. There we go. Now it should be calibrated. You let this, uh, let this car pass here and I'll pull out and see if this thing works. Next test, I guess, would be to throw a speedometer or open the speedometer app on my phone and uh, compare the two and see how it looks. All right, so I ended up firing up the speedometer app on my phone and compared it to the reading on that autometer speedometer, and they were within one or two miles an hour. So, pretty happy with that. Uh, I may end up doing another calibration later, but I don't know. We'll see. But as you can see, the truck is again back in the garage and on stands. Um, during that drive, I noticed that my transmission temp was reading zero, no reading. So got it home, started doing investigating and found that the temp sensor plugged into an anodized AN fitting wasn't getting the ground it needed. So, you know, if you know anything about those temp sensors, the, the case or the the base of the sensor needs to have a good ground in order to generate a reading for the gauge. If the body of the sensor isn't grounded, it doesn't have anything to reference against, it doesn't put out any reading. So I took a picture of what I ended up doing. So what I did was I ran just a separate ground. I just took a wire, put an eyelet on it, and sandwiched it between the AN fitting and the sensor and then ran the other end to a good ground. So now I could take this thing off stands again and take it out for another drive to see how relocating that transmission temp sensor worked out. All right, so I just drove about 10 or 15 miles up the highway. And as you can see, hopefully, transmission temp is showing about 200. Coolant temps at 180. But if I come around, The, uh, the radiator fan or the, the trans temp fan isn't even running and the cooler is not that hot. So I think I'm still getting a bad reading off the temp sensor. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a, like a piece of rubber hose to extend it off of the AN fitting coming off the transmission. And that way it kind of provides make like a bit of a thermal break so that it's not um, conducting any heat through the AN fitting into the sensor. It's definitely not reading as hot as it was when I drove it initially, um, but it is still reading kind of high. But I, again, I don't think that reading is accurate. I think it has to do with, I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see it. I think it might just be heat being conducted through the AN fitting. So I might build like a, like a three or four inch little rubber hose extension to put in there and that way it'll again you know create like a thermal break between where the sensor is mounted and any heat being conducted through the an fittings so we'll see i might give that a try but i definitely don't think that reading is what the transmission is actually running at again because the the fan isn't on all right, so moving that temp sensor, I think, really helped. Um, today, it never really got above 210 on the gauge, whereas the last time I put any kind of real distance on it, it got to about 250. So I think moving it definitely helped. But I do think I'm going to build a little rubber hose. I do have a couple of AN fittings. I can build a little extension hose just to get that fitting off of the case. I believe what's happening is the case is getting hot, and it's transferring some heat through the AN fittings to the sensor. Sounds good in theory anyway. So I think I'm just gonna build a little rubber hose extension just to get that temp sensor adapter off of the fitting that's going directly into the case. And I think that'll really help also. Um, so like I said, you know, I did verify the fan wasn't on. The cooler itself is warm. Now, 
the one next to it for the oil cooler, it's not hooked up yet, is still nice and cool. So, I mean, I know there's fluid going through the cooler, which means, you know, there's fluid passing past that thermal switch. And, but I just don't think it's ever really getting hot enough to actually turn the switch on, which, like I said, I think is about 185 or so. So the system itself is working. I just think I'm getting erroneous readings. I'll play with it some more, see what I can find out. But I appreciate you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll catch you on the next one.